If we are to survive the coming environmental crises, we need to fund our scientists to build on the valuable work of the visionaries who we will study. The Irenaeus theory of 1887 recognised that acids form hydrogen ions and bases form hydroxide ions in water. They are opposites and both can damage humans in concentrated form. They can also combine and neutralise each other, forming water. Svante was the father of ionic chemistry. During the next 40 years, a number of industrial chemists would investigate chemical equilibria with a need to increase product yield. Many reactions proceed until a point of equilibrium is produced where the rate of the forward reaction equals the rate of the reverse reaction. The balance point differs depending on the chemicals. At equilibrium, you can get a lot of product or very little. There is a mathematics. In this simple reaction, there is a constant number K equal to the formula shown. The new acid-base models would recognise that most acid-base reactions obey this equilibrium law. Independently, in 1923, Danish Johannes Brunsted, with an umlaut over his O, and Yorkshire Pom Thomas Martin Lowry, invented a new acid-base theory where acids donate protons to bases. Acids are proton donors and bases proton acceptors. The proton being donated by the acid is really a hydrogen ion H+. In bronsted lowry acid-base reactions, an acid reacts with a base to form a new acid and a new base. The two sides of the reaction usually establish an equilibrium with each other. In this case, because the reactants are so strong, the balance of the equilibrium is well forward. We end up with little hydrochloric acid and ammonia, and mostly ammonium and chloride ions. Notice also how we always work out these equations. We subtract an H plus from the acid to form its conjugate base. In this case, the chloride ion Cl minus. We then add the H plus to the base to form its conjugate acid the ammonium ion in H4+. There are two conjugate pairs here, marked 1 and 2. I have shown them in different colours. This reaction can be observed directly by holding a tube containing strong ammonia near a beaker of concentrated hydrochloric acid. Another way is to put two beakers next to each other and blow across them. The white smoke is solid ammonium chloride. In each case, wear goggles and avoid inhaling the gases. Here concentrated vinegar is reacted with water which acts as the base. Ethanoic acid is a weak acid and water is certainly a weak base. The equilibrium produced is strongly to the left, making it possible to drink the mixture which forms only a few of the nasty hydronium ions. The vinegar formula looks like a choo-choo train. Poor old Thomas huffs and puffs, but little product forms. Weak acids can be good preservatives for some protein foods. This graphic shows how to label the conjugate acid-base pairs. Around the same time as Brunsted and Lowry, American Gilbert Lewis began drawing chemical particles using lines to show covalent bonds of two shared electrons. He also showed on his diagrams lone pairs 
of unbonded electrons. You notice that bases contained these lone pairs. Here's acid base theory of 1923, described how these lone pairs attracted protons from acids, forming new covalent bonds where the protons added on. You can see why these particles are Lewis bases. Oxides of nitrogen, sulphur, phosphorus and carbon cause acid rain to fall on the world's cities and forests. Farmers are very wary of soils becoming too acidic for healthy crops. They speak of the soil becoming too sour. The antidote is to sweeten the soil using agricultural lime containing calcium carbonate. I use dolomite lime, which also contains magnesium, and put eggshells on my compost heap. Calcium carbonate is insoluble, and so has a slow release effect. The carbonate ion is a moderately strong base, with a base ionisation constant of 2.1 times 10 to the minus 4. See if you can complete this bronsted lowry equation for the reaction of the carbonate ion with water. These acids react strongly forward to form weak conjugate bases. Attempt to write formulae for those bases. Strong bases also produce weak conjugate partners. See if you can work out their conjugate acids. The acid ionisation constant Ka is used as a measure of acid strength. Here is the equation for the reaction of a general acid, HA, with water. The Ka value equals the molarity of the two ions formed at equilibrium divided by the molarity of the acid at equilibrium. Because the two top molarities formed are the same, we can simplify the formula as shown. For most commonly used acids, the acid ionisation constant is quite small. Chemists use the operator P with small numbers. It expresses the number as a negative power of 10. I have chosen as an example citric acid found in oranges. The Ka is as shown. To find the pKa for citric acid, we take the negative power of 10 and subtract log 7.4. Big pKa acids are very weak. For the same molarity acids, which of these foods would most damage your teeth? Vinegar used in pickles, yogurt, oranges, or soft drink? It looks like citric acid, 
although all dissolve teeth. The bicarbonate iron is found in the soluble salt sodium bicarbonate. It is marketed as bicarb soda or baking soda and used in cooking and as a primitive antacid powder. The word amphiprotic is used to describe such chemicals. It can react both as an acid or a base as shown in these equations. Its pKa value is 10.3, a high number showing that it is a very weak acid. The weak acid phosphoric acid is sometimes used as a preservative in colour sugar fizz waters. It is a polyprotic acid capable of losing three protons. It has three conjugate bases, two of which act as weaker acids with increasing pKa's as shown. Sulfuric acid is strong and is also polyprotic. Most metal ions are neutral as expected. Yet copper sulphate, ferrous sulphate and aluminium chloride are acidic so you need to wear goggles. These metal ions are small and surround themselves with six water molecules forming a complex. The hexaquo aluminium ion has an exotic conjugate base and a moderately strong pKa. The operator P is used with acid ionisation constants Ka and base ionisation constants Kb. These measure whether acids and bases are weak or not. The operator P is also used when measuring the strengths of hydrogen ions and hydroxide ions in water. We will focus on the water equilibrium Kw. In one of the classic experiments of history, Scientists carefully purified water and measured the slight electrical conductivity caused by the fact that a handful of water molecules formed ions. The equation tells us that in all watery solutions, the product of the hydrogen ion and hydroxide ion molarities is always 10 to the minus 14, so pH plus POH equals 14. In a neutral solution, the two are the same, and the pH and POH are both 7. Of course, our oceans, rivers, and even the watery fluids within our bodies contain a variety of acid and base species. They rarely exhibit a neutral pH of 7. For strong monoprotic acids, such as the hydrochloric acid in our stomachs, the pH is easy to calculate given its molarity. For one molar hydrochloric acid, its molarity is 10 to the power of 0, so its pH is 0. So what is the pH of the other two solutions? The answers are 1 and 3. The pH of our stomach acid varies from 1.5 to 3.5. For the drain cleaner sodium hydroxide, we find the pOH first. Then we subtract it from 14 to find the pH. Alkalis have pHs greater than 7. Be very careful with caustic soda as it can blind you. Calculate the pH of the other two solutions. The answers are 10 and 11.